because I have been quite busy this week with handing in a few take home assignments and writing essays, I thought instead of doing a weekly vlog, I would do the guinea pig tag. Because I had to hand in so many essays, I don't think it would be very interesting to watch me just type away on my computer because that's what I pretty much did all week. I have the questions on my phone. I kind of combine the guinea pig tag, the small animal tag, a pet tag and I also added a few other questions. So the first question is how old were you when you got your first guinea pigs? And I was six when I first got my first guinea pigs. And what was the name of your first guinea pig and their type? My first guinea pig was named Lotta and she was an Abyssinian guinea pig. What is your favorite type of guinea pig and why? I think my favorite type of guinea pig is an Abyssinian guinea pig, even though I own three regular short-haired guinea pigs and Sylvester is the only Abyssinian that I have. But I still really like Abyssinians because they are really really fluffy and they just look like a fluffy unicorn. What are your guinea pigs nicknames? So Sylvester, his nickname is Silly Zilly. But Sylvester always looks like a very serious guinea pig with all his grey fur. But then sometimes he's just really silly and he starts shaking his head and running around the cage and popcorning and then I always call him silly silly. Pebbles I always call Pebby and Frida for whatever reason I can't even remember. Sometimes we call her Fridolfo. I'm not sure why, we just started doing that. And Little One is actually Little One's nickname because his original name is Christmas because Sylvester is the German word for New Year's Eve. So when little one was born, I didn't really know which name to give him. So I was just like, all right, we have a New Year's Eve, so I guess we could also have a Christmas. So that's little one's official name, but pretty soon we started calling him little one. And now little one is kind of his official name because everyone knows him by the name of little one, but that's his nickname. What's your favorite activity with the guinea pigs? I think one of my favorite activities with the guinea pigs is just having them enjoy floor time and with me sitting in the middle and then I have some pea flakes on my lap and then I start calling them and then they try to climb on my lap and then little one, little one doesn't even try to climb, he just straight jumps onto my lap. Um, so that's definitely one of my favorite activities with them. What kind of cage do you have and why? As you can see in the background, I have a wooden guinea pig cage that we built ourselves and the reason why we chose this one was because obviously in that size you can't really buy a standard cage and then I've never heard of CNC cages before and also I kind of like wood in general and we just kind of went with a wooden cage because um, before we built this cage I looked around a lot of guinea pig forums and obviously they were German guinea pig forums because I'm German and a lot of people in Germany have wooden cages so that's why we built one as well. Do all of your guinea pigs get along? Yes, thankfully they do. What are some of your favorite memories with your guinea pigs? I think definitely my favorite memory with the guinea pigs, just the four of them popcorning together and being happy and come running towards me when I call them. Do you want to add another guinea pig to the group? Yes. At one point I want to add another guinea pig to the group, but I think at the moment we're good. The guinea pigs get along really well and I'm kind of scared that if I'm going to add another guinea pig to the group that kind of the dynamic is going to change and them might be fighting or one of them might be a little bit unhappy. So I think for this year I'm the group is going to stay the way it is. But definitely, um, at one point I want to add another guinea pig to the group just because Sylvester turns three this year and Pebbles and Frida turn two and the little one turns two as well, um, but later in the year. Um, so next year Sylvester will be four and Pebbles and Frida will be three and the little one will be three as well. So then the group kind of gets older and older and obviously when guinea pigs get older they start sleeping a lot. So. I think next year I, I'd really like to add a baby guinea pig to the group and I know that the rescue I got Sylvester from for example they always have so many baby guinea pigs because they get so many pregnant guinea pigs so I'd like to add a baby just to mix things up a little bit and to get more dynamic and more fun into the group so that they feel motivated to play a lot and to just enjoy life. What mistakes do you, did you make when you first got your guinea pig? With my first guinea pig, definitely the mistake that I made was that the cage was way too small. But I got my first guinea pig in, I don't know, maybe 1999, 1998. 
So people didn't really know that much about guinea pigs and also there wasn't any internet. It was kind of standard to put guinea pigs in these standard guinea pig cages that you can buy in pet shops. So definitely the cage was too small. With this group, definitely the fur plus cage that I purchased in the beginning. It's a super pretty and awesome cage. But it's way too small for four guinea pigs and I bought this cage because originally I only planned on having two. But then life happened and now I have four guinea pigs. Uh, so I think the fur plus cage are definitely 140 euros that I could have saved myself and put into a bank account instead of spending it on this cage. These were all of the 10 questions and I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next video on Saturday. Bye!